guys, so today I'm really excited. I'm showing you guys how to depot two of my MAC eyeshadows because I only have two. Um, I depotted one for experience and I decided to film the second one. And um, it was super quick and super easy and I did learn this from Emma Reeks. Um, I think that's her username. I'll link her video in the bottom bar if you want to watch that. It's pretty much, I did the exact same thing um, that she did because she's the one that taught me how to do it because I watched her video. Um, but... I used the same method she did, but there was like two steps that were a little bit different just because I found that what I did was a little bit easier than what she did. I want to talk about briefly, I did talk about this at the end of the video, talk about these e.l.f. palettes because a lot of people say that these fit MAC eyeshadows, however they do not. Um, these are my MAC eyeshadows, all the glitters and espresso. These as you can see, there is a rim around it, they do not fit perfectly. I do have a magnet on the back of it and I will show you guys how to do that as well. So there's a magnet on the back. Without a magnet they will just fall out. Um, go ahead and enjoy the video and I will talk about how to magnetize it, how to depot it, how to you know put it in the palette and such and such. So I'm just gonna cut to the video now and I'll see you guys later. First you will need a eyeshadow to depot and then you will need a candle. You'll need something to hold your um eyeshadow with. Uh, you can use tweezers. You will need something sharp to pull out the eyeshadow pan from the pot. So I am just going to use this little mini knife here. And then I just have tweezers to take the sticker off. So what I'm going to do is I am going to pop the eyeshadow out. And this is very easy. Oh, my bad. Um, so there is this line right here. Not that line, but above that there's this, um, line right here. Go on the corner, very side of it. You dig your knife into there. Once it's in, you just pop it up and it comes out just like that. Um, it's very easy. It, this is the easiest step. So then after that, we are going to use our little thing and you're just going to hold this. I'm going to put it over the candle. This one smells really good, by the way. It's from Yankee Candles. So I'm going to hold it over. I find it takes me about four or five minutes. So I'm just going to set a timer. So I waited about five minutes and there is no hole on the bottom, as you can see. I know a lot of people tell you to wait till there's a hole, but um, it's okay. You don't need a hole anyway. I don't know if you could tell, but... The sides right here are actually rising. You can tell that um, it's pushing itself out of the pan because the sides have been very deformed. You're going to stick the same thing that you use to pop the eyeshadow out of the pot. And you're going to use that. You want to be very careful because you can very easily um, slide across the eyeshadow. So you're going to slide it in that space and then you're just going to push it out. And it should come out very easily because it's already been deformed. So you're just gonna push it out. Try to flip it over so that the glue faces up and just leave it like that. And meanwhile, we are going to melt um, the sticker. You're just gonna melt it till the sticker comes um, off from the pot. You wanna make sure that the bottom of this is straight um, above the flame. And then you wanna tilt it a little bit just like that. So you're going to wait an about another five minutes or so. Um, it depends really. You could just keep checking. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry, but I already took the sticker off. I thought I was filming, but basically it should be very easy. Um, a little side of the uh, sticker should start peeling after a while. And then you're just going to take your tweezers and stick one side in and just peel it off. It should come off very nicely. But as you can see, the pot is deformed and it's very hot. So be careful when you handle it. So I just stuck it on the back of um, the pan. So just make sure you clean up some fallouts on the sides. Okay, so now I'm done depotting my two eyeshadows. And I'm going to talk to you guys about these little palettes that a lot of people say the MAC eyeshadows fit into. These are the e.l.f. element palettes. I actually have two palettes. For me, the MAC eyeshadows did not fit. This is an e.l.f. eyeshadow and it is magnetized on the back and looks completely identical to a MAC pan form eyeshadow. It does have a magnet, as I said, and it sticks perfectly fine. It does not fall fall out um but with the mac eyeshadow it is slightly smaller if you can see there's that rim around it around the um pan so it does not fit perfectly and when you do this it'll fall out um so without a magnet these do not fit oops into the elf element palettes so many people are saying that they do fit but for me they honestly don't so i'm going to put a magnet over the eyeshadows so that they will stick in the palette it's gonna take a magnet that i'm just going to use some nail glue which is really strong glue and i'm just gonna stick this underneath the name of it 
of the eyeshadow so I'm just going to let that sit for a minute okay so now that the um, magnet has dried I'm just going to plop the eyeshadow into the quad now it's all magnetized so if I just do this it's not gonna come off it's going to stay in there so if you don't have a Mac store or if you don't want to spend five bucks on a palette these are a great alternative you just need some magnet okay guys so that is all you need to know for how to depot a Mac eyeshadow and I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys later bye